If you want to help support our channel, head over to Patreon and become a VIP member today. What's up, everybody? Today on the show, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Uh, Caputo couldn't make it, so we didn't want to move forward with uh, Guns and Radio yet. We're gonna we're gonna be doing our episode of Guns and Radio uh, tomorrow instead, but we wanted to go ahead and do something tonight in our as close to our uh, Sunday time zone as we could. And I thought, well, Aerosmith, we all know what just happened with them. Uh, we were going to talk about that and do, uh, let's take a look at uh, Dream On when we played with Train and Steven Tyler at the Howard Stern Birthday Bash. We're going to review that in a little bit. But as you can see, our boys Rick and Mason here, they're on their way back, back from my place after a weekend of not seeing Steven Adler as we had been... <laughs> Plugging on the show now for fucking what a couple of months now, hadn't it been? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, fuck Steven. Yeah, and also we're being joined by Franz. He's come in Ooh. to uh, help me out with the review. I, I don't know. Should we talk about what happened this weekend or wait on the vlog to come out? We can talk about it a little bit. I mean, we can talk about bit. it because the vlog is going to take a, a little bit because we got to get all the videos together and edit it anyway. So. Yeah, so there's a after, lot of footage. Yeah, so like after you called us uh, about Stephen canceling, uh, I contacted the fair uh, that he was supposed to be playing at, and these Basically. dudes told me the reason. Yeah, they told they told me he canceled because he had COVID, but he canceled on Tuesday. But yeah, they didn't announce it until Thursday, and then Adler didn't even announce it or address it at all. Huh. So we so we already get on our road trip, we're already on our way when we find out that this dude uh, canceled and then uh I sent his ass a message and called him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, well what pissed me off was they not only which I get waiting I get the venue not announcing it until they have a replacement to announce with it or the event in this case, so they can say, Hey, the band Murphy's Ford is going to be replaced. You know, they can answer all the questions that they're going to get before, you know, they announce everything. They want to have all their shit together. Well, but, but also, well, I was just going to say, part of the issue, though, is you're replacing a, a national act with some local country band that nobody knows. So it's not even really an equal replacement. Yeah. Yeah. It was a downer. You could have at least stuck with the same genre, man. Like the whole fucking country thing pissed me off and he's already an, he was announcing new shows like yesterday or the day before so he was announcing new shows without even addressing the canceled one come on steven so what do you think it is what do you think really happened do you think he's got covid or what i mean if he had covid uh he only he quarantined for like three days right so i don't know if that's what he had or not or if he's just uh Something if was some other shit happened, but yeah, that's what they that's what his reasoning for was that he had COVID and uh, he canceled, he backed out of the event on Tuesday. Well, over here, COVID is treated like uh, just a uh, normal flu now, nowadays, so that's yeah. basically what it is here now. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, fuck that shit, man. If you're feeling bad still, you know, you would still just rest until you feel better, even though it's not really required, but I mean. From my understanding, the strains of COVID that are around now are not even bad anyways, and they have medicine for it now. So I don't really know what the issue is. I can, I can speculate and give you a guess what the issue is, but I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. And probably some drug related. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it sucks, man. And uh, we were dis well, we were disappointed, but we sure had fun any fucking way, man. Like, yeah, what, that's the part I want to know. <laughs> I don't know. What do we want to tell here, and what do we want to wait for the vlog? We did a night of karaoke. We'll give you what two guesses of who's the only one that didn't participate. <laughs> uh, I got really. Uh, I didn't know what my limit was, and uh, next thing I know, I don't remember shit, and I'm waking up in the back of a car. Do you think you got roofied? I don't really think he was drugged, but also, even if he had been drugged, 
he would have felt like shit the next day too. Like when I you're, felt like shit. Oh. No, because you said by, by that evening when we left the house, you said I feel ninety percent. I feel yeah, ninety. I feel about ninety percent at that night. Like it was, yeah, it was if you like, if you had been drugged, you would have felt like all, shit all day long. All, yeah, like at that wrestling show, dude. I had to keep. I just had to go outside and sit for a while, man. I was just. I felt like I was gonna puke at any moment. Do you guys yeah, also I have? I, I've had like like four times when I got so drunk and fucked up that I didn't remember a single thing of the whole concert. And you know, I might have it four times in all my life, and it's so fucking horrible. You know, these yeah, these certain nights that you don't remember fucking shit about. It. I, yeah. I know. I like to. I I like to remember all the dumb shit I do. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. But but yeah, you you don't choose for it. So there's just for four occasions, about four occasions in my life that I just absolutely didn't know the next morning what I what I done. That's fucked up. Now you know you're hey, well, fucked up. Well, what, what what really got me was this fucking uh, this pickle shots. You only did one of them. No, I did two of them. When did you get a second one? That person at the bar gave me a second one and uh, got me a two. I guess I remember. I remember I got two free beers and I got a free shot. What the fuck? You should. You didn't tell me we were doing more pickle shots. I love those. Yeah, that shit was good. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of shit show to show you in that vlog. What? Well, I was gonna say since you guys are doing an uh, uh, Aerosmith deal, I do got a good uh, Joe Perry story. Oh shit! Okay, what's your Joe Perry story? Well, first of all, Joe Perry's a bitch, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he really, he really is a punk. Why don't you just tell us who's not a bitch at this point, right? There's a lot of bitches out there, but yeah, Joe Perry's definitely one of them. So, um, it was about 20 years ago, Aerosmith came to play in Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, you know, so, no, it was, I was probably about, uh, it might have been 25 years ago, because I was pretty young then. And, uh, which, which tour, Nine Lives or Just Which Play? I don't fucking remember, dude. Um, I got tickets from the radio station to go. Um, and so, we're out there hanging out, uh, just trying to meet the band. And uh, security comes up to us and tells us, well, um, if you guys want to meet Joe Perry, he's right across the street at the automobile museum. Oh, uh, that's cool. so, yeah, we're like, fuck yeah, man. So we walked right across the street. It was me and like three of my friends. Um, and that was it. There was no one else out there. So while we're out there, um, Joe Perry says his security out there tells us we have to get off the property that he refuses to sign or take pictures. And uh, so well, I don't think his security can make you leave somebody else's private property. So yeah, we, well, I was a kid then, man, so I didn't know uh, I didn't know that shit back then. But yeah, they came out there and they were pretty aggressive about the shit, made us get away. And uh, yeah, oh, wow. so that's the reason why I fucked Joe Perry, man. <laughs> well, that sucks, bro. If that went down like that, yeah, it was kind of nasty. So that is yeah. what it is. But hey, man, we're gonna have a a hell of a vlog coming up pretty fucking soon, and you're gonna get to see all that. You're gonna get to see parts of the <laughs> me carrying Rick around. Like I, we gotta have some uh, some of that footage in the in the edit because that part made me laugh when I'm trying to get him up the stairs and I'm bending his <laughs> knee like a marionette. Uh, that shit was fucking funny. <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be in the upcoming vlog. And uh, all right, okay. so let's read this really quick. This is the statement that our Aerosmith released concerning their upcoming tour and, and thus the reason we're doing this episode. They say it was 1970 when a spark of inspiration became Aerosmith. Thanks to you, our Blue Army, that spark caught flame and has been burning for over five decades. Some of you have been with us since the beginning, and all of you are the reason that we made rock and roll history. It has been an honor of it has been the honor of our lives <clears throat> to have our music become part of yours. In every club, on every massive tour, and at um, a moments grand and private, you have given us a place in the soundtrack of your lives. We've always wanted to blow your mind while performing, and as you know, Stephen's voice is like an is an instrument like no other. He has spent months tirelessly working to working on getting his voice to where it was before the injury, and we've seen him struggling despite the despite having the best medical team by his side. Sadly, it is clear that a full recovery from his vocal injury is not possible. We have made a heartbreaking and difficult but necessary decision as a band of brothers to retire from the touring stage. 
We are grateful beyond words for everyone who pumped, who was pumped to get on the road with us one last time. Grateful to our expert crew and our incredible team and the thousands of talented people who have made our historic runs possible. A final thank you to you, the best fans on planet Earth. Play our music loud now and always. Dream on. You've made our dreams come true. And that was... Hang on, let me fix this back. So it's kind of a sad situation, man, what's going on here. It is it's sad for everyone except for Joe Perry. For Joe Perry, yeah. Because he's a bitch, right? Well, I know one person that's happy. Who's so that? Joe... Joey Kramer. Who's Joey Kramer? He's their drummer that they kicked out the last tour that they did, and they wouldn't let him play with them anymore. I don't know. You think he's happy, or you think he's just like... What? Well, he's probably like, that serves y'all fucking right for not letting me play. Now y'all don't get to play. Fuck Joe Perry. <laughs> well, good news, Rick. Joe Perry's not in the video. Do you guys want to watch uh, Dream On, and let's uh, move this along, and... Sure. Just watch it. All right. So what we're checking out is from Howard Stern's birthday bash in what fucking year was this? I don't know. Twenty. I think I feel like it says on the screen, but I can't see it. I don't know. I know I've seen this before, though. So I know what video this is. I don't know if it was twenty twelve or fourteen, maybe something like that. That a feeling was looking at this video. <laughs> well, I mean, I figured we could incorporate it with Guns and Radio because it's still got Slash. We're in the middle of the summer of Slash, so it all kind of suits together, especially with the Shotcast theme. So let's check it out. Oh, there it is. It was 2014. What a long and strange trip this has been. Here's to you. Wait, is he dressed like a stormtrooper? I'm honored, my friend. Here's Thank to you. you. And here's to hell. May we have as much fun there as we had getting there, huh, Howard? And we'll be there. So does he always play, or did he always play like this big white piano, or was this something for tonight? Or does anybody know or care? Uh, I wouldn't know, man. Uh, he, you, uh, I think. Oh, shit, Jeff's here. Look who it is. What, no fucking true. intro? Oh shit, it's fucking Jeff. Let's see what he does. Sounds like a like a fucking shoe commercial. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> he's about to like start singing a jingle for some fucking sneakers or some shit. Or go into Linus and Lucy for for the Christmas song. <laughs> Wait, Rashi when did he? Moore. When did he, he start? His mouth <laughs> when did he start looking more like Johnny Depp? I thought he looked more like Grandma Miltrude. <laughs> at least, but he, at least he's realistic about his voice, man. I mean, I actually should have done this way earlier than him. I think. Yeah, yeah, and at least they didn't just replace him with somebody else for the rest of the tour. I think <laughs> that will be something. I think we lost, uh, seems like we lost Frost and Jeff, or uh, Frost and uh, Rick. They were driving, so they may come back. If they come back while we're still recording, then, uh, you know, they may be back here in a minute. Where's Christopher? Uh, Caputo couldn't be here tonight. I don't know why. That's sad. Uh, he miss you, he buddy. had to. 
Yeah, it sucks. He had to he had to cancel on us. He did an Adler. <laughs> he pulled an Adler. Pulled an Adler. I'm sorry about that, you guys. What did you end up doing instead? I'm a little late to the party. This. <laughs> Sat around, just drank, hung out. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We're uh, drinking and watching Aerosmith. We're doing a shot cast tonight, and then we're going to do Guns and Radio tomorrow. Ah. All right, here we go. Hey. Welcome back, fellas. Hey, guys. Driving through the mountains will do that to you. Oh, yeah. They're on their way back to Oklahoma. <laughs> that one thing you refuse to ever go back to? <laughs> well, they're also going the exact wrong way. So let me ask you this. If, if Steven would have booked somebody to be, or not Steven, but if the band would have booked somebody to fill in for Steven for the rest of the tour, would it, would they have, who do you think they could have picked? Axel. And you think, Axel? <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have went either way if they did that. It would have been a lousy farewell tour, though, so I think they're in the right. I've heard some nice uh, AI versions of Dream On. Oh, of, the, of the of well, yeah, with the Axel AI. Yeah. Sounds pretty nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I've heard a couple of those. <clears throat> They're getting pretty good, man. Pretty soon we'll be getting new GNR music every week. <laughs> yeah, until you die from it. In spite yeah. of them. Did you you regret ever asking for more footage? <laughs> that, that much. Man, this version sucks without Slim Shady on it. <laughs> you know, uh, we, I mean, we listen to this crappy version of Sing for the Moment where they take Slim Shady off and they put the old guy on instead, like the whole song. And, you know, it's just not the same. We want the original version, the one with Slim Shady in it. Yeah, remakes are never as good as the original. <laughs> exactly that's right man that makes me think of have you seen like where kids are like talking about when post malone did the thing with ozzy osbourne it's like it's good post is helping out these up-and-coming artists <laughs> that's what they did uh, uh paul mccartney when he did that song with rihanna yeah i heard about <laughs> that yeah what'd they say some they were like, Google. Said, like, this guy has a future. <laughs> that kid's going to be somebody. <laughs> How many times have you seen Aerosmith, uh, Dustin? Never. Um, I had tickets one time, and uh, I had to cancel at the last minute. Speaking of which, I've had tickets to them three times in the Cincinnati area, and they have canceled three times on me. And this was oh, like I, over the last two decades. They pulled an Adler. But I've seen them once. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call that pulling an Adler from now on, where you just cancel with that at the last minute. I don't know, though. Like Mason pointed out this week uh, while we were all hanging out that Steven, like Axel will cancel a show in the middle of the show. Like he'll cancel a show with people in the building. So. Well, thankfully, so, but, he hasn't done that in a while. So yeah. if, if people are going to get canceled, they're going to get Adler. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw I got to see Aerosmith. I saw him once, so at least I can say I've seen him once. I've seen him twice. But I didn't have good seats, which sucks. But at least I saw Did him. Did Adler release any reason why he was a no-show this weekend? No, he didn't nope. even uh, make an announcement about it. Only the fair made a statement. Adler didn't even make a statement about it. The fair canceling. didn't make a statement. They responded to a text message. No, they made, they had us post on their Facebook page. Oh. I saw well, I, I saw Aerosmith in 94, uh, a year after Guns. Uh, it was a great concert. Oh, wow. man. It was really nice. 
I saw when I saw Aerosmith, I think it was 2018 in Atlanta. They were doing like the uh, Super Bowl concert series, and they had Post Malone open for them. So <laughs> that was a weird mix up. But I saw the show Slash open for them. Oh, that been yeah, that was a 2014, I think. I told. Well, there's a, uh, they, no. I'm thinking ACDC. You went out early with. Okay, never mind. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah, that wasn't too long ago. But that was the one time I saw them. But yeah, dude, I've had tickets to them three times and they canceled on me like three in a fucking row. I think Rick had a similar experience with Guns N' Roses. Yeah, yeah. I uh, first uh, I had tickets to see them in uh, 2002 in, uh, I think it's Charlotte. And, uh, then I, and I had tickets to see them at Biloxi. And uh, yeah, we know what happened with that tour. Didn't you have to go I all the way to Canada? Yeah, because I, t- well, I had tickets to see them in like 2006 when they were going to play in Nashville. And um, they canceled that Nashville show like the week before. So um, after they released the album, I'm like, well, I'm going to go see them uh, wherever they're playing it because, you know, you know they have something to support now. So uh, they announced the Canada tour in like 2010. And I got to see them in Hamilton and uh, London, Ontario. Right on. All right, uh, the the skin and or the uh, bad apples tour got canceled in Cincy not once but twice. First with Blind Melon because they fired the TA guy, and the second time it got canceled because with Brian May because he got Adler. He <laughs> <You> got Adler. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucked on that. See, what Steven is wearing now is like what I would expect Mason to show up in if I invited him to my wedding. <laughs> Steven Tyler, like in the last 10 years, man, has been so androgynous. It's like, all right, man. I mean, hasn't he always kind of been that way? Isn't I mean, the way? 80s was like, there was, a, there was a fine line. Like, I mean, he's always still looked like, you know, your friend's mom. You know, he's yeah, always but in the like 80s, that. you know, you had to give you had to give all the chicks the old double check just to be sure, you know. Yeah, check that Adam's apple, you know. <laughs> or one or not, but yeah, dude, like he's always been androgynous, but lately he just looks like respectfully an, an old old lady. <laughs> Come on, man. That's I mean, a legend, you Tyler, dude. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I always laugh at the story about when the GNR was uh, like doing an opening for Aerosmith and uh, how they were not uh, allowed to be in the dressing rooms with Aerosmith because they were afraid to re- be relapsing, you know. And yeah, so like there was, it. there was, when we interviewed Doug, I asked him about that, how it was supposed to be like a sober tour. And he said, as long as they kept it in their dressing rooms, they were cool, but if they couldn't walk around backstage with it, they couldn't like flaunt it. They couldn't do interviews outside of the dressing room with it. But as long as they kept it in their dressing room, they were fine. Hmm. So yeah, the backstage was dry, except for their particular green room. Yeah. Also, uh, Izzy, it was quite amazing. He was uh, like, finally, we meet some sober dudes, man. He was really inspired by them. I heard. What, Izzy had never met a sober person? Well, you know what that no, makes well, sense. The, these bands were always... <laughs> the best, so he, was, he was happy to finally see some sober persons. Yeah, it's reasonable. Speaking of which, yeah. Izzy came out with them at the Forum or the Staples Center and did Mama came yeah, them not, not it was too a new long video. ago. Yeah, it was a great video, man. It was a very nice pro shot of it. When did it come it out? Man. Yeah, I have it somewhere. Man. I think maybe like half a year ago or something. Oh, shit. but he played no. it like 10 years ago yeah yeah sure but the video uh, yeah yeah definitely no 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 that was older but yeah but the video uh surfaced oh uh, nice like i'll we'll have to see if i can get a hold of that i'd like to see that yeah, be I have cool. it somewhere I'll, I'll look for it man i have it sure cool i appreciate it well let's get the uh, let's move on here let's get no. through this I hear Slash is slashing in the background, but I don't see Slash. <laughs> it was in LA in 2012 as he did it. 
With Izzy? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's about the last time he was really seen. Because I saw him in 2012. That's when I met him. With Rick here. <laughs> yeah, we were coming out of a pink taco. <laughs> I know how it sounds. It was the name of the. It was, it was legitimately the name of the restaurant. Oh, I found it. Good man. This is a pro shot too. Nice. Put it in the chat. Appreciate that. We'll put it in the description for uh, anybody who wants to see. I thought Slash was in this. Yes. For some reason, it's not letting me taste it in there. Maybe I didn't taste it. Where's Eminem at? Yeah, even he's calling for him. Where are you at, Slash? For some reason, it's not letting me taste. Let me send it to your FC. Okay. Man, can you imagine throwing a birthday party for yourself and then being booking all this? Like, you'd be at your homie's birthday party that he put together for himself, and then Slash come out. Nice being fucking Why loaded. Why does Slash need a backstage wristband? Like, you don't know who he is? That's the kind of noise Rick was making in the back seat while we were yeah. on our way home from the bar. <laughs> oh, fuck. You yeah, remember sure that, was. Mason? Every couple of minutes, he, oh. And then I get you throwing a fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if it's, that's going to be in the video. It's going to be great. All right, that's that. That's the pro quality. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, Slash do be slashing in this. He kind of doing his own thing. I wonder how that Happy feels, though, Howard. to do. Happy birthday, Howard. Happy birthday, Howard. We love you, Howard, when you fucking show up for work and not wait months now at question, a time. Now, question, is that the show that Slash did right after his heart monitor was in and they said that it went off, like, big time? Because that was a New York show. Was this the coinciding show? It could be. What year I mean, did he have was... his, like, heart problems? I don't know. This video is from 2014, so it's been. Wasn't it years. when? No, when, I think when, it was long before that. 9 11, when my, Michael Jackson did this concert, he had to flee from the city. Maybe it was that one. I think it was that. Then he, he ended up in this. Like uh, Austin or New York? I can't remember which hotel. one Perlis said it was. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to do final thoughts on the video we just watched. I'll give a. Well, it well, looks like we lost Frost and uh, Rick again. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, what'd you think about it? Who wants to go? I'm familiar with it. I missed part of it, but it's 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 cool. Do I think they did something else? Maybe, but it's Howard Stern's birthday, so dream on. You know what I mean? His request was. I would have rather seen like Back in the Saddle or. I think there's a couple of other ones, but I just chose this one instead. But with the two of them. I think that's the yeah. only song they did together for the birthday party. I might be wrong. I've only seen that cut. No, there's but another one. I just I think I don't remember what it was though. Right on. Uh, end of the day, would have rather seen another team for the belt out, but you know, three and a half out of five. You know, right. collaborations are always fun to see. You know. Right out. So, what do you guys think, uh, Franz? You want to give a thumbs up, thumbs down? What do you want? To yeah, thumbs up, man. Um, yeah, it's basically what Jeff says. And um, yeah, you know, I, I like the classic 
uh, Aerosmith more, but um, uh, yeah, the clip, yeah, pretty good. And um, yeah, I would like to give it a four. Okay. What do you guys think, Rick Frost? You guys want to say something here? I think they're frozen. That's average. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, I can't. Okay. Well, yeah, they're. they're I heard average. Yeah, I heard <laughs> average too. Up. Hang on, I hook you up. We I think it was average. okay, buddy. Okay, guys, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for your uh, input. I give it a thumbs up. I thought it was pretty cool. It's cool to see. Rick says. Uh, Rick says if I can read Blitz Sprite, he says he wished he leaked this song. It's so oh. badass. <laughs> well, you know, that's just uh, sometimes uh, you know sometimes you can't win them all, buddy. So I mean, no, you it's know. not possible. Yeah, but you know we'll be rooting for you. You'll get it. You'll get. It. You'll you'll do something. You'll find something better next time. Uh, I, I I give it a thumbs up. It's pretty cool. I like it. Like I said, I thought it was cool to see uh, Steven Adler playing with like a completely or Steven Adler, Steven Tyler playing with a completely different band. They had Train backing him with Slash on guitar. That was pretty cool. And I've seen the whole Birthday Bash. It's actually a really good show. Uh, a lot of great bands play on it. So. Highly recommend. And uh, guys, well, all right, Rick and Frost is back. Did you cover or ever talk about the rumor that he was uh, Steven Tyler might join Led Zeppelin for a reunion? Did you guys ever uh, hear that name? I don't think so, but we can uh, we can keep that for uh, tomorrow on Guns and Radio proper. How about that? All right. If you want to join us there, bro. I mean, we'll why be- don't uh, Aerosmith do what? Uh- what else did they do with Gunner? Let me see this. What? Bring in Axel. He did it and he auditioned for them. And- yeah, they should have just hired Axel and just uh- <laughs> Well, it's a farewell tour. So, I mean, if it was just another tour, I can see like them maybe getting a stand in for the rest of the tour, but it's a farewell tour. So they're not going to go out with, a, with somebody standing <clears throat> in on a farewell tour. So I have this well, question, man. Maybe you know, somebody knows. It's about uh, the Stephen Tyler. I mean, we all remember how Axel got like, uh, uh, yeah, like sued for sexual assault, you know, by this woman. I thought we were about to get pulled over. And um, Stephen Tyler, um, he was also uh, like accused of uh, sexual assault. He, 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 sure uh, he convicted them. Supposedly. But- got a girl who was underage to emancipate herself and then he took her on tour what is it 90, 90, 90 75 already yeah she, she, back back. she wanted to go that's fine i was wondering if you if you ever got convicted or something you know so maybe no uh, yeah, nothing ever came of it with, uh, uh apparently uh, ed nugent did the same thing I mean, uh, it's quite, it's pretty quiet uh, around Axel's case, right? Or uh, should I say, Gorilla? Uh, I don't well, know. Well, I don't know. The, the Axel situation and the uh, uh, Fernando situation has been swept under the rug in the meantime. Yeah, you think so? No, let's let's open up that wound then. Throw some fucking <laughs> salt in it. Right? Uh, dude, I, I would be more than happy to participate if I thought it would get rid of fucking uh, Fernando, but that's never going to happen, man, unfortunately. Yeah, one job. don't get away with Gorilla Ape sex. <laughs> one job. Yeah, one job. One band. And you all watching have one job, and that's to come back tomorrow for Guns and Radio proper when we're going to be checking out Be the Ball. And uh, you can uh, be there with us when we be be the be when we be be in the ball. There we go. Yeah, if Caputo doesn't down. Adler, if Caputo doesn't pull another Adler. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> we'll see you then. Good night, folks.